Hello, my name is Kastutis and today we will see how you can fix the SSH connection refused error. The connection refused error can be the cause of a few different scenarios. In this video, I will go over some of the most common ones to help you sort everything out. To use SSH, the server you are trying to connect must be ready to accept that connection. For this reason, it is important to check if your server is running correctly. You can do this by getting in touch with your hosting provider. Hostinger has the super handy status page where you can stay up to date with any service interruptions. Checking out your system resources is another great indicator if everything is working well. The order usage panel is an awesome place to find out if you have reached any of your hosting plan's resource limits, which could interrupt your SSH connection. All Hostinger Shared and Cloud Plans, with the exception of Shared Single, offer the SSH functionality, so make sure you have it enabled in the SSH Access section. If your server is operating without any issues, the next most common reason for the SSH connection refused error is incorrect login credentials. Double check if there are no errors in the command that you are entering to establish your SSH connection. Here at Hostinger, all the SSH related details can be found in the SSH access tab in the advanced section. Here you will be able to see the SSH IP, port, username and even copy the command which is used to connect to your server via SSH. Resetting your SSH password can be a good idea to make sure it is correct. On Hostinger, the SSH account shares the password with the FTP account, so you can change it by going to your FTP accounts tab and clicking Change FTP Password. If you're dealing with a local host or a dedicated server, there are some additional details I recommend checking. Going over these troubleshooting steps is different depending on what server configuration you are running, so I advise you to check your server's documentation or even a community forum. First, make sure that SSH is installed on your server. If it is, you also need to check if the SSH service itself is running. Next, you will need to make sure that there are no firewall rules blocking your SSH connection. Double check your SSH port and if it is open. Let me know if this video helped you sort out your SSH connection refused error by leaving a like. If there are any other issues you are running into, post them in the comments below and I'll be sure to solve them in a future video. Make sure to subscribe to Hostinger Academy so you wouldn't miss it. Until then, I wish you the best of luck in your online journey.